Hi, everybody. It's Russ Sallow here with gps to go and I'm really thrilled today to have Kelly Mack on the line. And Kelly is the operations manager for the world's largest 1-800-GOT-JUNK franchise. You've probably seen those uh, white trucks with the blue and green uh, truck, uh, the boxes on the back, and it says clearly on them 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Everybody knows the brand. Uh, they were even featured in Undercover Boss, and it was a uh, very, very cool show to watch. So here we go. We're going to talk a little bit with Kelly. Kelly, good afternoon. How are you today? I'm great, Russ. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for uh, joining us. So today what we're going to talk about is, you know, uh, we're very thrilled. The 800 Got Junk uh, brand, uh, we've got a couple of franchises using this, and I wanted to get your impressions you know, about why you use the GPS tracking from my company, what you like about it, what caused you to think about it. So tell me, tell me a bit about your, yourself, your roles, your, uh, your franchise, and uh, how long you guys have been doing this. Well, we've been in business. Toronto's had a franchise of 1-800-GOT-JUNK since 1999. Uh, the business itself opened 10 years earlier in 1989, but the first franchise was launched here in Toronto. So we've been here um, for since '99. Um, okay. We have a fleet now of 22 trucks. We primarily hire uh, the 20 to young 30-year-old bracket to to drive our trucks. So less experience than a lot of professional drivers um, and a lot of college students. So younger drivers. Um, uh, that are really great with our customers. I mean, that's what our brand is all about, providing a high-level customer service and really good-looking trucks that are maintained well. Absolutely. So, and and did I quote that properly, that uh, the 800, 1-800-GOT-JUNK franchise, your group is the largest uh, franchise uh, of that in the world? Yeah, we've been, being the youngest has had something to do with it, but um, we have a great ownership um, here in Toronto, uh, fiercely committed to providing great service and and getting our name out there. So uh, yeah, we've we've been the highest revenue, and yeah, I guess revenue because we wouldn't be the highest in territory size, but uh, we've been able to maintain our role as as highest revenue in the uh, in the franchising system. Fantastic. So diving into the idea of GPS tracking, um, when you started looking at GPS tracking. Um, Tell us, you know, what were the challenges that your, uh, the, you know, your franchise was looking to overcome? What were the things that you wanted to accomplish? Well, like I kind of alluded to, we have a lot of younger drivers. So um, I learned from safety conferences, insurance conferences, things like that, that just simply having the GPS, you know, lets the guys know that there's, that there's accountability that we can hold with them, whether it be their speeding, uh, you know, where they are, at what times, what locations things of that. So so challenges were, you know, you know, making sure guys were accurately reporting their, their hours of service, making sure, you know, they were where they said they were, um, being able to track them going to their first job, making sure that they weren't taking, you know, breaks when they've only been on the job for fifteen minutes. Yes. Um, so really it was about accountability and, and to that end, you know, it also allows us guys knowing that they want to drive better because they're being monitored. Um, our CVOR, which is any truck that goes through Ontario, has a commercial vehicle operator registry. So making sure that um, we had a healthy CVOR and basically that uh, the Ministry of Transportation was happy with our performance um, was, mm -hmm. was, I would say, probably one of the most paramount things, making sure that the guys knew that they are accountable and in turn that uh, hoping to see results in our CVOR. Excellent. Now, when you installed the product, uh, you know, one of the things with the GPS to go product and the Geotab product is that it's a self-installed. Uh, tell me about that process. You received the equipment and did you put it in yourself, I understand? Yeah, that was one of the reasons why I went with the GPS to go. There were other ones that wanted to do um, hidden installations and, you know, so guys couldn't get at them, but that required the, the truck to go off site and be installed or, or to arrange, um, you know, all the trucks to be here at one time so an installer could do it. But, our business model doesn't really fit that because we um, are parking, our truck parking in, in strategic areas across the greater Toronto area is fundamental to us. So we don't see our trucks every day. So being able to just keep a tracking list of what trucks had the, 
geotab in it and just literally when a truck came in and didn't have one, plugging it in and then going back to the software and changing the name from the factory default to uh, to match our unit numbers was, was simple enough, very simple. Fantastic. So in the, in the beginning weeks when you started doing this, tell me about what were the first, say, two or three main things that you saw improve. Like where did you start off and where did you see it end up? Um, I would say probably right off the bat, we could watch guys um, when they were signing in. Guys are supposed to get to the trucks um, at a designated time. We tell them that each morning. So making sure that guys are getting there on time, not 15 or 20 minutes late. So that was one thing. And then really just for our operations, the the day-to-day -day dispatching, or as we call it, our operations department, for them to be able to, you know, have a sense of, you know, I wonder if that guy's headed to his job by this point. You know, he, we talked half an hour ago. He's supposed to be on his way to Brampton. And instead of having to call him, we just look at our screen. It refreshes, you know, every 30 seconds, I think. And we can see, sure enough, he's he's headed right into Brampton now. So we know he's on our way, and we've got information without having to disrupt the driver while he's driving or, you know, having to make another phone call because we're constantly on the phone. So cutting yeah, down our phone calls, yeah, helps. Have you uh, seen uh, uh, the ability to um, coordinate what you see on the GeoTab Checkmate screen with the calls that you get from your headquarters? I understand that 800 Got Junk has a, uh, a centralized dispatching or, or a job uh, a job dis uh, dispatching called the Junk Net. Is that correct? Yeah, our, yeah, we have internal software yeah, called Junk Net. So our sales center, even if people book online. Um, and even if people uh, in the near future are able to book via a mobile app or they can book online through their cell phone right now. So we can get bookings from the call center or from clients themselves at any time. Someone could be literally booking a job in our territory as we speak and it'll just pop up on our screen. Um, Geotab can play a role. Um, really our system has been pre-designed to to book jobs into zones of the city, but every once in a while, you know, you can have, um, there could be a job that's much suited, much more suited to a truck that's in a different colored zone. So if somebody's on the far west edge of a zone and a job books in the far east of their zone, it could be possible that um, a truck to the east of them is much closer, just, you know, given the fact that you know, maybe if a zone is Toronto, if somebody has a job in the far west of Toronto, but a job pops up in the far east, then we might want to bring in a Scarborough truck, um, which is in the west end of, you know, could be literally a few blocks away. So right. seeing the trucks and knowing that is helpful. That visualization gives you the ability to uh, dispatch the guys even more effectively. Is there anything else that surprised you about using the GPS? Was there something you weren't thinking of that happened that was a, a pleasant surprise, you know, from doing this? Um, well, I think one thing is that, I mean, when the software, I mean, if a mechanic disconnects it or something like that, I mean, originally we're kind of like thinking of, of you know, trying to hide the geotab and strap it up so guys don't see it and don't know where it is. But we've kind of come to the conclusion that it's fine for the guys to know that they're being monitored. They should expect to be being monitored. And if they're not monitored, we can give them a call and say, hey, can you plug uh, the GPS back in? I don't know where you're at. So Absolutely. I think there hasn't been, and a, a second surprise would be, I don't think there has been a real pushback to the technology. I mean, a lot of, like I said, a lot of our crews are in their 20s and 30s. So um, they're quite comfortable with technology. They can, I think they can intrinsically see the value in us being able to monitor not only them, but their location and, and uh, you know, the whereabouts of our truck. If a truck ever gets stolen, um, you know, whether the software gets disabled or not, we can, there's going to be some clues there to uh, point us in the right direction. And sometimes, you know, you tell a guy, we've had this happen, where you tell a guy, okay, park at this spot, we're changing your parking spot tonight. Maybe it needs to go to the shop. We call the shop in the morning, say, hey, are you doing your service on, on the truck we dropped off last night? They'll say no, and we can simply go to the, the GPS and say, okay, where is that truck now? And, oh, it turns out he parked it back at, you know, where he, he forgot he left it at the parking spot where he picked it up in the morning. So those would be 
a few of them there. Fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what, I think we'll wrap it up and let you get back to your extremely busy day. So we've had Kelly Mack on the line with us from the uh, 1-800-GOT-JUNK franchise in Toronto. Kelly, I want to thank you very much for taking a moment to sit with us, and we appreciate your business very much. Great. Thanks a lot, Russ. You're welcome. Talk to you very soon. Yeah. Bye-bye.